How's your arm? Better. Yeah, physical therapy's helping. Good. <sighs> Tell me, uh, what do you know about this guy, Ray Hafner? You're back at work? Yeah, I'm just a consultant. Hafner, uh, word is he's tough by mm -hmm. the book. I think he started out in the FBI Organized Crime Division. He had a couple of high-profile busts using wiretaps and creative surveillance techniques. Surveillance, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? Eh, just curious. Oh. Can I take this? You're leaving? Yeah, new case. Uh, you know, I gotta man the phones, hit the sidewalk, you know how it is. Yeah, I know. Well, thanks for coming by. Pleasure. Yeah. Just so you know, Jane, I'm okay. About? Losing my job. I'm not gonna say that I like it, but we got red John. It was worth it. Don't be silly. A, you haven't lost your job. The hearing's a formality. And B, we didn't get red John. Uh, Timothy Carter told you he was red John. He lied. Carter must have known him because he told me things that only the killer of my wife and daughter could know. But he's not the man. That man is still out there. Jane. Someone told that security guard to take Carter's gun and phone, then killed him. Who would do that besides Red John? Ergo, Timothy Carter is not Red John. But Carter, had you known there was a possibility you'd kill him, he always said you would. He... So maybe he asked a guard to take the gun and the cell phone if you did. Why? To mess with your head and it's working. You're looking for a man he already killed. A Carter's wife is in custody. She said anything? Nothing. When she does talk, you know she's going to tell you? That you shot and killed Red John. Good for you. No. Thanks for the tea. What do you mean? Uh, lovely to see you. Keep working that bum wing. <laughs>